Hello guys, my name is Akash and you're watching Java for you. So today we are going to cover the topic how Java changed the internet. So today I'll be covering the uh, most important topic that is the applets and the security and the portability. It will be just in brief and uh, further I'll be making uh, in detail or in depth about these topics. So let's begin. So guys, this is uh, the third video of my Java tutorial. That is how Java changed the internet. All right. So let's begin so Java applets okay uh, what is an applet is applet a small program how applet change the internet programming okay listen carefully for what I'm going to explain so all these questions of yours will be answered all right in brief so how Java changed the internet? All right. So the internet helped catapult Java to the forefront of programming and Java in turn had a profound effect on the internet. In addition to simplifying web programming in general, Java innovated a new type of network program called the applet that changed the way the online world thought about. Java also addressed some of the thorniest issues right so which were associated with the internet that is any guesses yes that is the portability and the security so let's look more closely in rest of the slides all right so coming to the java applets an applet is a special kind of a java program it is designed to be transmitted over the internet and automatically executed by a Java compatible web browser. Furthermore, an applet is downloaded on demand without further interaction with the user. If the user clicks a link that contains an applet, the applet will be automatically downloaded and run in the browser. Applets are intended to be small programs they are typically used to display data provided by the server handle user input or provide simple functions such as loan calculator that uh, execute locally rather than on the server in essence the applet allows some functionality to be moved from the server to the client the creation of the applet changed the internet programming because it expanded the universe of objects that can move about freely in cyberspace. In general, there are two very broad categories of objects that transmitted between the server and the client. Passive information and dynamic active programs. For example, when you read your email, what happens? You're viewing a passive data, all right? So even when you download a program, the program score is still only the passive data until you execute it that is by contrast the applet is a dynamic self-executing program such a program is an active agent on the client computer yet it is initiated by the server as desirable as dynamic that word programs are they also present serious problems in the area of security and portability Obviously, a program that downloads and executes automatically on the client computer must be prevented from doing harm. It must also be able to run in a variety of different environments and under different operating systems. Right, so what hap happens is, as you will see, Java has solved these problems in an effective and elegant way. Okay, let's look a bit more closely at each of these so in the next slide I will be covering that is a security 
So does your downloaded content contain a virus? What is the most innovative aspect of Java? Listen carefully for the answer of these questions and more details. Yes, security. As you are likely aware, every time you download a normal program, you are taking a risk because the code you are downloading might contain a virus, torsion, horse, or other harmful code. At the core of the problem is the fact that malicious code can cause its damage because it has gained the unauthorized access to the system resources. For example, a virus program might gather private information such as the credit card numbers, the bank account balances, and the passwords by searching the contents of your computer's local file system. So in order for Java to enable applets to be downloaded and executed on the client computer safety, it was necessary to prevent an applet from launching such an attack. So guys, Java achieved this protection by confining an applet to the Java execution environment only, not allowing its access to the other parts of the computer. So your computer data here was safe. So the ability to download applets with confidence that no harm will be done and no security will be breached may have been the single most innovative aspect of Java as indeed it is. So the coming to the portability is portability a major aspect right so is it practical to have different versions of different versions for applet for different computers doesn't these uh, questions seem interesting Yes, listen carefully now. Portability is a major aspect of the internet because there are many different types of computers and operating systems connected to it, isn't it? Yeah. If a Java program were to be run on a virtually on any computer connected to the internet, there needed to be some way to enable that program to execute on different systems. For example, in the case of an applet, same applet must be downloaded right, and executed with a wide variety of CPUs, operating systems, browsers which are connected to the internet. So it is not practical, okay, I'm stressing the word, it is not practical to have different versions of the applet for different computers. The same code must work on all computers, isn't it? So you just imagine for your computer you're writing a code okay so you want to run it on your friend's computer and you're not able to yeah, how frustrating it is you'll have to write the same piece of code once again isn't it yeah so therefore uh what i said yeah the same code must work on all the computers right so therefore some means of generating portable executable code was needed Okay, as you will see, the same mechanism that helps ensure security also helps create portability. Right. So, guys, uh, it was a brief introduction of the applet, the security, the portability, and how Java changed the internet. So, I'll be making the detailed videos on the portability and the servlets and the applets in my upcoming videos. Uh, for uh, more such videos, stay tuned and let's meet up in our next video. So don't forget to hit like, comment and subscribe and share.